Ever thought your morning train commute was a challenge? Well, imagine riding a railway that's so high, you might just rub shoulders with some passing clouds. And oh, there's also the need for special trains equipped with oxygen to keep you conscious. Hold your breath, not literally, please. We're chugging our way through the Qinghai Tibet Railway, the highest railway on planet Earth. Pop quiz. What connects Qinghai and Tibet besides a sheer sense of adventure? That's right, an engineering marvel that traverses some of the planet's most challenging terrains, giving passengers a view so stunning, they might think they've hitched a ride on Aladdin's magic carpet. Now, some backstory for our curious souls. The idea for this railway had been around since the early 20th century. But it took until 2006 for it to fully materialize. Why? Well, between extreme altitudes, permafrost, yep, that ground that's always frozen, and the sheer vastness of the route, this was a challenge even for the bravest engineers. Speaking of challenges, did you know that more than half of this railway is over 4,000 meters above sea level? That's over four times taller than the Eiffel Tower, stacked on top of itself. And when you're that high up, just breathing becomes a sport. Hence, the trains on this track are no regular chugga chugga chews. They're souped up, oxygen pumping lifesavers. Quite literally, if you consider that passengers could experience altitude sickness without them. By the way, if you're thinking of taking a scenic selfie, better keep your camera ready. The journey offers pristine views of the Kunlun and Tongula mountain ranges. But, here's the kicker. The railway cruises over the Tongula Pass, which sits at a whooping 5,072 meters above sea level, making it the world's highest railway point. Kind of makes your local train station look like child's play, doesn't it? However, with great beauty comes great controversy. The environmental impact of the railway was a topic of hot debate. With its construction, there were concerns about disturbing the habitats of the unique and endangered species living in these high altitudes. Not to mention the fears about how the train might accelerate the melting of the permafrost. But, on the flip side, the railway was a feat of sustainable engineering, with several measures in place to minimize its carbon footprint and protect the surrounding environment. Economics 101 Folks, the Qinghai Tibet Railway isn't just a pretty face. It has been instrumental in boosting tourism and trade in the region, bridging the gap between remote areas and bustling cities. Some even say that the railway has been a key player in Tibet's recent economic boom. So, while the train ride offers an Instagram-worthy journey, it also provides a lifeline for many locals. To wrap our express journey, here's some food for thought. In an age where we're constantly pushing boundaries and reaching for the skies, sometimes quite literally, the Qinghai Tibet Railway stands as a testament to human tenacity, innovation, and the endless quest for connecting people and places. Next time you find yourself stuck at your local train station, remember, there's a train out there that's defying the odds, running on the rooftop of the world.